I really don't see a role for the National Guard in San Francisco. Uh, we've got challenges, but not challenges that rise to militarization. Now at 5, Governor Newsom directed the California National Guard to San Francisco to assist in the effort to dismantle fentanyl trafficking there in the city tonight, one week after the announcement. The Guard, not yet out there on the streets. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebach. And I'm Julie Hayner. Our crime reporter, Henry Lee, live now in San Francisco with an update on this crime-fighting strategy. Henry. Yeah, Mike and Julie, we're here at the CHP office in San Francisco, where officers have certainly worked with SFPD on everything from traffic issues to organized retail theft. But so far, no sign of the California National Guard, just more of the same. This is what it looks like in San Francisco's Tenderloin, less than a week after Governor Newsom said he's bringing in the California National Guard to help tackle the fentanyl crisis. No soldiers that we could see, but still plenty of homeless and others fighting addiction, living in the streets in the shadow of SFPD's Tenderloin Station. It would be great if it could be cleaned up a little bit more. Ashley Richmond from St. Louis is attending the RSA Cybersecurity Conference at Moscone Center in the south of Market. She said she's seen many people down on their luck while in town. It's hard to not see them. Yes, there is some, but it's been really um, surprisingly cleaner than I thought, and, I, and there's been a lot of police around too to make me feel safe. Have you seen any National Guard by any chance? I have not seen National Guard. Daniel Price, a Canadian also attending the conference, was last in the city five years ago. Has anything changed? Yeah, it's worse than move. <laughs> How so? The, hom the homeless problem uh, has worsened. Price says more needs to be done. But not necessarily a military reaction. There's a big drug problem, a housing problem. Maybe invest more into preventing that kind of thing instead of reacting. But there doesn't seem to be any reacting, at least by the Cal Guard. I haven't seen the National Guard. I mean, I work right here. I just got a burrito in the Tenderloin. I don't think there's any National Guard. This wouldn't be the first time that the governor shot from the lip. Supervisor Aaron Peskin says he supports getting the CHP involved, but not the National Guard. What we need is better coordination, not militarization. Supervisor Matt Dorsey posted this tweet saying the cavalry is coming the day of Newsom's announcement. Well, I, I would say, you know, like, let's give them time. The cavalry is sort of a metaphor. Dorsey says things are still in flux and some operational details may never be divulged. The governor has said that he he is not foreseeing a role for the National Guard in any sort of like, uh, you know, uh, patrolling or sort of highly visible uh, militaristic way. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a role to play to assist city government. Now, the governor's press office told me today that they've directed the CHP and the California National Guard to identify personnel and resources to help the city combat fentanyl trafficking. Now, that process is still ongoing. Julie? Yeah, Henry, it seems elected officials are split, mixed on the idea of bringing in the National Guard. What are people out on the street saying, residents, the public, what do they want? Yeah, similarly, uh, different opinions, Julie. Some people are all for it. They're saying something has to be done. Whatever's being done now is not working. Others are saying, no way should we have troops here in San Francisco. All right, Henry Lee reporting live tonight for us in the city. Henry, thank you.